Good day, everybody. It's Mike Suzalo with your Thursday, May 23rd grain update. It was a wild ride for the bean traders on Thursday as strong weekly export sales and rumors of active commercial pricing helped push July beans into a trading range of nearly 60 cents on the day. It looked exciting in the morning, but wait till you see what happened in the afternoon. A push up to 15, 46 and three quarters as the midday models were released, suggesting a cooler, wetter weather pattern as we headed into the long weekend helped fuel a surge to levels not seen since September of last year in the front end July beans. That was that, however, was met with strong selling just minutes later as the floor caught word that uh, from news wires that Argentina's port strike was ending. The net result was a 40 cent plus slide in July futures in a matter of minutes. When we are at our daily highs, July was posting its best advance, like I said, since September 20th of last year, with the July no bean spread reaching just under $3 a bushel. By the close, July beans were back below $15, the spread back down to $2.55 and change. Wheat now, it was a little bit better. It was the proverbial rock of Gibraltar through all the excitement in the soy complex on Thursday as weekly export sales of over 950,000 tons plus a sharply lower dollar, both added up to taking KC and July wheat futures uh, in Chicago, both above key resistance levels. $7.50 for July KC wheat, $7 for the Chicago futures. Southern Plains weather is still expected to be turning hotter into the coming days and into the long weekend holiday. That probably added even more support after midday models were released. Corn on Thursday, probably a little bit more supported by the wheat, but also hanging back as the spread trade was a little bit weaker. We saw weekly corn export sales falter, and they were only about, they were actually 55% below the four week average. So corn traded more of a range, got caught up in the excitement at times, but for the most part, held support, nothing to write home about, however. This is Mike Suzlo. Go to globalanalytics.biz for more information. Please remember, there is substantial risk of loss in trading futures and options. The impact of cycles or current events on prices may be already reflected in futures. Have a great day.